Hello everybody, welcome back to some Heracles on Mellow Career Mode, the best club with the biggest stadium and the best players. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, honestly, that might have been the worst intro I have done ever on this channel, which is kind of weird, because I seem to be pulling a lot of weird intros lately, but um, how about we forget that one? I move on straight into the next game. Because I'm excited, you're excited, actually I don't know if you're excited, I just guess that you are because I make amazing content like everybody knows. Let's just start. Uh, we bought a new player, left back here. <coughs> I think we're still trying to look for a new striker because this guy, I don't buy I don't buy him. I don't know, I just don't want him there. And uh, our right back has a red card so we had to switch him. But that's about it. Or oh, against 20, I forgot. Weirdly enough, I do remember playing against them not too long ago. This season, in terms of planning, this game is really fucked up, but I don't give a shit. I'll play against whoever I have to play against. If I have to play against freaking AX 10 times a year, I play against AX 10 times a year. It happens. Nothing you can do about it. Well, let's just start the game. I'm in a really good mood today. I don't know why. Could be good for the video. I mean, it doesn't need to be good for the video because, you know, I'm always absolutely amazing. It's just not true whatsoever. I mean, just look at this. It's enough evidence. So let's see if our left back can actually do something. Yes, he can. His first action of the game is getting the ball back. That's good stuff. I don't like playing in the snow in FIFA. It's just something about it. And not only that, they still have this low-ass resolution snow. If you zoom in on it, right, it looks absolutely disgusting. So what? The hell? Why? Why did it take you so long? Now how the hell did he got, get injured there? And to what? His knee? Don't pass around the back, it's not the second half yet. You're not in front, you're not behind. And pretty much we're still not better than you, even though in real life you're doing absolutely shit. Well that's the end of the first half. Not much happened besides uh, me trying to be funny. Being absolutely stupid at it. And uh... I want to forget about that as soon as possible. Move on to the second half. That's a good ball. Clinton in GA. That's a 1-0. Out of nowhere. The very first chance I think we get. I mean, we got a shot from outside of 16, but that doesn't really count. In this 1-0. I don't even remember who did the through ball, but depending on where we were, either Mr. Pussy or Bellasani. Let's see. It's not one of the two. No, it's not one of the two. It's God knows who. Our right back at centre attacking midfield position. Great stuff. It was a beautiful goal though. 1 0. Whenever we seem to score the 1 or the 2 0. Oh, Jesus Christ. God. You did not have to go down after you evaded the tackle. In real life, this would have been a straight yellow card for diving. But clearly, diving is not in FIFA because that's good. Nobody wants diving in FIFA, and the people who do clearly are masochists. They like to be hurt. Because believe me, with all the bugginess that is in the, the referee system in FIFA and the offside system and all that sort of shit, just imagine, imagine having a dive option. That would be horrible. And here with the second goal and that one is absolutely stunning. And once again out of nowhere I was cracking a joke about how it would be horrible. It was not really a joke, it was absolute truth. But it's a beautiful goal gets inside nice little burber spin I think that's called whatever it is and a great goal but no it's a it's a McGeady spin I believe I believe the game calls it different but look I care oh nicely cut inside that's beautiful and that's you, ju you just then fuck it up I'm giving you praise something you don't get often of me seeing as I think you're the worst you're the worst transfer I've made this season and then you pull that shit while I'm giving you praise. So, you know, that's good. That's a good ball. And that's going to be the 3-0. In GA, going to be scoring a hat-trick. And no, he's not. Because Stevens with a great save. It was a fantastic through ball, though. Has to be said. Props to Bruns. Mr. Pussy with the hat. The guy who I do not want at striker position scores one of the most ugly goals I've ever scored. And I believe it was Mr. Pussy. But clearly not. What happened here? Come on. 
Like, I'm happy with the 3-0, don't get me wrong there, but what happened? Look, really? Is it, there's a good cross. That's not even a goal. Well, I guess it was going in, so it is a goal. If it was going wide, it was, would have been an old goal, but that is a goal of a poor Gladon, but I don't like him whatsoever. Like I'd say, having four clean sheets in a row sets you up like for a like six matches of winning, and then like six matches of losing or drawing. It's always the same with FIFA, but that doesn't matter. Actually, it does. Whatever. It's the end of the game. We've won three 0 one extremely ugly goal, two beautiful goals, and uh, let's just move on to the next game. Twente put up absolutely no fight. They had two shots. We apparently had five, five on target. I have the feeling we had more, especially the second half, but I do not give a shit. It's a win, and a win is all I count. Ajax have accepted an... Wait. Was he the only one that I put an offer in for? I'm quite sure he wasn't. I put in an offer for a striker as well, but I'm going to try and get this guy too. Important first team player, just because I'm going to train him a whole lot. He's definitely going to grow into the 70s within a few weeks. Yeah, see? Um, I've already offered him a contract, right? And if not, I mean, I'll do it now. Cruise your first team play. Like, I remember giving him that option already. Clearly not. Oh, here, dear, here we go. He has accepted it. I was like, why is one team giving me a reaction back earlier than another team, even though I'm quite sure I did both of those deals on the same day. It doesn't matter, we've got our new striker. Even though the motherfucker that's in there now is better and has scored, I like this guy more, because look at his strength, first of all, and then look at his height. I mean, damn. He's actually quite, he's actually quite impressive for the ball in real life, even though in this game it doesn't show. He's actually quite impressive. He has a good long shot, he's actually really fast as well. I think he should have deserved 70, 70 sprint speed. I thought he had 70 sprint speed. But uh, that's all not in the game. We have a very big game here today against PSV. They're six points behind us, but they're definitely somebody who's going to threaten us at the end of the season. So we need to win now to put more points between us and them. And to put more points between us and Ajax. That's, to me, an even more important thing right now. Let's see if our new striker does what I want him to do. And that's score. Hopefully a hat-trick. Uh, there, I don't think that's going to happen. And who knows, I might have fucked up and should have kept Wegors, but we'll find out during the course of this game. Look at that tall motherfucker. I mean, Wegors was 6'6", six six, but he was also pretty slim. This guy is like wide as fuck and he's 6'7". Like, he, he's just huge. He's not like Lassine Trae Tra or that guy is just absolutely fucking huge. Like 6'8", 6'9", but... This is just genuinely big. Already a chance here, I think, with Clinton. Now, he fucks up the first touch and still gets past uh, Mr. Guardado. Still gets past him twice. So he's doing really, really well. And then a long shot. And holy shit, we hit the bar. That is a start that is very unexpected. Very offensive game so far. Very fun to play and to watch, I hope. That's one no, Come on, GA. Why did you slide towards the ball? I don't know what he's doing that far up ahead. Like, he, he should have been in the striker position, not the left winger position, but he is here now. That's good. And he gets a shot off and he hits the bar as well. And we... What? We get the penalty? Uh? uh sure. I'm giving the chance to uh, our new striker here. I don't even know how good he is, and I didn't choose him as our new striker. I don't think he's that great at taking penalties, but... No, what? I, I... Him! Jesus. We'll find out how good he is. I've missed two already in the last couple of videos. This time, I don't miss. And once again, in the top left corner. And the first goal for this club, for Mr. Veerman. Six foot seven beast. And I don't think I really have to say anything about this penalty. I've always said I always shoot in the top left corner. It's just perfect. It fits, even though it isn't. Even though, it's, even though I guess it isn't perfect because the last two games I missed the penalty, but the last two videos I should say. This is still a great penalty though. It's one 0 Martin, and that's the one-one. Absolutely stunning goal out of nowhere. Their first real chance. We've hit. The 
but you think of bards wise, we got a penalty. It's quite lucky, and they they score out of absolutely nowhere with the very first chance they get. And I don't understand how he even got the ball here, but my defenders just split. They, look at that, they just split. Why, why did Zomer sprint forwards out of nowhere? He gave him so, so much freaking space, and that's that's the one, one. beautiful one one as well. That's well done. And he gets a second goal. See, that is why I want him there. Because he wins headers more than Wegos does. Even though Wegos is about the same size. About the same height, I should say. And has a better jumping. This guy just wins him. He just outpowers everybody around him. Around him even the keeper. And he's, he scores the goal. Very good debut so far. I mean, the penalty was easy enough. But this is not easy whatsoever. First of all, great move by Slackfair. And then just, he, look, he outpowers a motherfucking teammate. And they got, oh, he doesn't have power team in, I'm just lying, the team he just did something absolutely... A GA, just, what was he doing? But, he outpowers the keeper, out jumps the keeper, and scores the goal. 2-0. Two 2-1. No. Two fuck up, I... <laughs> Rev, come on! The defense fucks up, plays the ball way too far in front of their feet, and I just nab it off their feet. And he use a bit of power, a bit of force. And he gives me, uh, he gives them a free kick for it, I mean, come on. This is great. What? 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 I wanted to do an early cross with a lot of curve and then head it in, but that works just as well. And Mr. Pearman, in one half at his new clip, not a game, no one half, has already scored the hat trick. See, right here, early cross, but that was one of the worst crosses I've ever seen, but it worked out because their defense tried to do an upside trap. It didn't work. Pearman gets pace, and that's a spectacular finish, if I do say so myself. And it's 3 1. Three goals from Verma. And it's the end of the first half as well. I don't have to say anything about it. You've just seen it all. Fantastic first half. Great goals from both sides. <laughs> this is the most stupid way to keep a ball ever. And that's offside because he gets the ball back. If another player would have gotten the ball back there, no offside would have been given, but he was still being called offside by the, by the ref. So... Explainable, acceptable. Just shoot already, just sh Holy shit, it's 4-1 against PSV! A, a clip that for the first time ever, like I think since 2006, got through to the uh, Champions League knockout rounds. You know, no, no Dutch team since 2006 has done that, and fucking PSV does that. And they're behind. 4-1 to Heracles. They should be ashamed. I'm sure they are. If they would see this video in real life, I'm sure the, the freaking owner would you know, go suicidal. Please, don't take that seriously. Suicide is not a joke, people. So yeah, with that said, Fairman got three goals and an assist on his debut. So, you know, with all that... You know, with all that data... I think we can safely say that uh, Castro was our best player. <laughs> I'm just fucking kidding, he's nowhere near a best player, what the fuck am I talking about? He was absolutely shit, he had one save, and the one that he actually had to save, he didn't save, and they scored. Keeping us from having a clean sheet, which is great. The Verma got a 9.6, just because some passes he fucked up, and just because some shots he didn't finish. But I think he deserved a 10 right there, that was an amazing, amazing performance by him. I didn't want to kind of continue one though to see, not not with the matches, but just to see if Nuri has yes to his offer. And he does. So that means we've basically done all the uh, the transfers that I wanted to do this window. A striker, a midfielder, and a left back. That's about it. I want to leave the video here. Thank you for watching. I think I, I, I actually made a good video this time. I got the 200 videos that I did. Like, I finally make a good video. Yes! Thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Maybe share my channel with your friends. And I will see you guys in the next episode. GA, can you get an assist here? Yes, you can! You aren't playing well today, but.